Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're hitting the big earthquake in Ecuador, the major storm threats kicking in this coming week, and two excellent solar forcing studies of the atmosphere under the influence of the ongoing pole shift. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and folks, this is quiet as the sun can get during sunspot maximum. Things are very calm with underdeveloped sunspots and stable plasma filaments. All space weather is calm and quiet at the moment, and that includes the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions at Earth. Here are those sunspots peppered all over, but lone wolves, not large or complex. Solar flaring will be low today if this stays as it is now. Off to seismicity where the 6.3 in Ecuador was happening as yesterday's show had just uploaded to the net. It caused considerable damage locally with a few dozen injured and several buildings destroyed. Prayers to those affected there are going to be a significant cleanup and repair effort. Next, we're moving on to the weather alerts, which many of you are already hearing about. Monday, a low cell, that purple node, will enter the central U.S. and drive an extreme outbreak with hot, energized vapor flows out of the Gulf, meeting cooler, drier air from the west and the north. Convective atmospheric potential will be huge. Tornadoes likely. Eyes open as we head into next week. Up first in the articles is an excellent study of the upper atmospheric wind patterns during the great solar storm 11 months ago. They found extreme zonal flows, especially in the equatorward direction of up to 400 meters per second. It's about 900 miles an hour. This is the equatorward energetic forcing from the auroral energy dumped into the atmosphere. It excites the global electric circuit and every pressure cell on Earth. Similarly, the forcing at the equator is always a bit more direct type of pounding. Here they look specifically at the South Atlantic anomaly, the weak spot in Earth's magnetic field as the modern pole shift unfolds, same solar storm from 11 months ago. And they find first that the plasma arcs, the L-shell magnetic fields near where the Van Allen radiation belts are, take over the particle forcing at low latitude as sun side compression due to CME impact pushes Van Allen relativistic electrons downward into the atmosphere. But the surprising part was how in the geostorm recovery, while the proton storm was still ongoing, the proton surged in the South Atlantic anomaly too, just basically taking a pounding any way you look at it. Folks, grand opening night was fun. The festivities continue today, and Dr. Robitaille basically rocked story hour with gold-speckled diamonds for stories. We'll both be giving talks today. And don't forget, there is a lot happening over the coming weeks. Astrophotography class, Kings of Catastrophe, Pole Shift Conference. One of those conferences is happening every single month, with prepping days peppered in there as well. Yesterday was the first day people could check into the cabins, and it's really nice for those to be ready. Seriously, observers, come out and see us. Something tells me that after the documentary drops, it's going to be a little harder to get a spot. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.